Dear guests, um, welcome all of you uh, here in the Forster complex and at all the simulcast locations. Um, this is the start of TEDx Utrecht University 2012, creating a social world. Uh, since last year's October, Lotte, uh, Geertje, Martina, Jaap, Lindsay, Ike and myself worked to organize this event. And now we're here. Um, you find a photo of the whole team in the program, but I'm sure you will meet them uh, during the day. And I also like to welcome you on behalf of them. Um, this will be a full day of listening, talking, learning and sharing ideas on social entrepreneurship. And someone once told me a very simple sounding rule. And this rule was the people who are there are the right people. And um, as the rule sounds simplistic, it isn't. Because the people that came here, came here on purpose. They share the same dreams as you do, or they can provide you with totally new perspectives. You will see it's true as you check out for yourself during the day. Furthermore, I want to challenge you that after each break you take a different seat, so you meet even more people to talk and to share ideas. Then a practical question. Please make sure your phone is switched off, or the sound is switched off, and you know why this is important. Um, amongst us today are the social reporters. They will blog and, and Twitter and Facebook, uh, but you're free to join in. The wireless network is called TEDxUU. The username is TEDxUU and the password is event. Um, next to the bar outside there is a bubble box. Over there you can uh, tape your thoughts and Lisanne from Saif will help you in doing so. Uh, for now I would like to introduce Femke Halsma. She will be chairing the morning. Uh, she's a former Dutch parlam uh, parliamentarian, and she is now visiting professor at the Center of Humanities at the University of Utrecht. Please give her a warm applause. Good morning. <coughs> I'm also working as a freelancer. Um, in, in good Dutch, you'd say a ZZ payer. Um, because I'm writing a documentary series for Dutch television on the position of women in Islam. And I'm also working as uh, the president of a Dutch refugee organization. So I'd like to think of myself as a very, very small social entrepreneur. Um, not so long ago, I heard a speech by Paul Polman. I don't know if you know him. He is um, the Dutch CEO of the multinational Unilever. And he has changed the practices of the company since he arrived two years ago. He has diminished the power of the share shareholders, telling them he's not working for them. He's working for the people and he's working for the consumers and the producers of um, uh, the products of Unilever. And he set some goals. He said, uh, in 2020, I want to double the gains, uh, the profits of Unilever, but I also want to do something else. I want to get rid of all the waste Unilever produces at this at this moment. And he also wants to reduce the carbon, um, the carbon emissions by 50%. So he not only has a financial goal or a goal of profit, but he also has a very strong social goal. I think he is one of the examples of modern entrepreneurship, modern social leadership, and I think we need many more of them. Um, social entrepreneurship the theme of this morning. What does it mean? And I think it means not only defining um, companies, businesses, by their financial profits, but also by their social and cultural and political goals, which are, for, for instance, um, sustainability, or um, creating fair labor for fair prices, or contributing to community or to society, creating a better world, the theme of uh, TEDx. 